Nation. It's your host, Agent Beamstar. Let's get a roy into the news. Hey, I'm so proud of you guys, man. What happened? There's no drama. And I'm really happy when there's no drama because Agent Beamstar, I don't have to work, ladies and gentlemen. And I love not working. But here we are because some stuff has popped off from the 2K community. And I'm here to fill y'all in. If y'all new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. But let's get right into it. For our first story of the day, of course, we have to cover all the new changes that was made to NBA 2K20. I got to fill y'all in somehow. About a week ago, Mike Wang put out a flurry of tweets saying this. In reference to some changes made to the sliders, Mike Wang said there's gonna be fewer missed full whites, they're gonna buff pick dodger, fix Steve Nash's signature dribble, and widen the speed gap. Now, of course, there's a lot to discuss. Widening the speed gap, yeah, that makes sense. Guards should move faster than big men. And before the update, that was not the case. There's been a few changes made to speed so far since 2K20 dropped, and so far, this one seems to be it. Don't touch it no more, Mike Wang. Now, I get that you might wanna buff pick dodger, to nerf brick wall. But have we considered the fact that brick wall screens in NBA 2K20 are a lot like the brick wall screens in NBA 2K17? And they were way too overpowered. Oh my gosh, so it's gonna be a whole another year if you don't have Hall of Fame pick dodger where you're gonna hit screens and your character's gonna go flying. It doesn't matter how good you are at evading them, stick skill does not matter. Do you have the badge? That's all that matters. And in a game where I feel like at the start they did a really good job with the skills gap, it's frustrating to see badges take control of everything. If, whether I'm playing defense, am I in the lane and I click square, I'm still not intercepting the ball unless I have the interceptor badge. Badges are everything this year and it takes away from the skill of the game in my opinion. And of course, probably the biggest one, missing full white releases. Now, have you played the game in the last week? Yeah, you're probably hitting some bounce backs, some slightly earlies. Frustrating, yeah. Because if you're not greening your shot, you don't have no business hitting it consistently. And I get if you're a sharpshooter, yeah. But it's like, it's glass cleaners hitting whites and stuff. It's like, oh man. When the game launched, and I don't say this often, but when it came to shooting, there was a skills gap. All you had to do was dedicate the 60 hours to get your badges. So I guess there wasn't a skills gap then. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I just know once you got your badges, if you were good enough, you were hitting consistently. But you shouldn't need badges to do that. Maybe that's the whole point of this first story. You shouldn't need badges to do things that take skill. They should enhance your ability to do it, but they shouldn't be the end all be all in my opinion. Especially when they're so boring to get, like they're dead dry. Who's trying to grind that? Nobody. To clarify, the fix for full white shooting percentages were untouched. Shooting will be the same as it was pre-patch. It just fixed inconsistencies between what the shot meter shows and the actual outcome. So I didn't even know that. I didn't even know there was an inconsistency there, but now we do. Zach Timmerman, developer for NBA 2K, added on saying, Today's patch addresses badge progression, essentially making the meter smaller, not visually, will shorten the amount of time to fill badge meters. And probably the biggest change they made in all of this is that instead of buffing the progress you see in your badges and your rep in park, they gave a serious nerf to Pro-Am. And so now it's like, you might as well play park, you can play Prime if you want to, but you're not getting substantially more rep for doing that. Ah, like half of those changes I don't like, but it's whatever. You can't get them all, you know what I mean? I have plenty of people hit me up like, bro, agent, you just tell them to change this thing, they'll do it. Bro, if they was listening to me, the game would be perfect, are you crazy? But anyway, I mean, they probably know better, right? Hopefully. <laughs> For our next story of the day, a very funny interaction between a content creator and a developer. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. There's a guy on Twitter by the name of your boy EJ, and he's been blowing up recently on Twitter. And so he decided what he was gonna do with his time was go to a Chinese restaurant and look for Mike Wang. Excuse me, man. Hi. How you seen Mike Wayne? Huh? Mike Wayne, he's a oh, five or seven Chinese guy. He f every patch on 2K. Have you seen him? No. You ever seen Mike Wayne? He, has, he hasn't been here. No. He supposed to meet me here at 2.30. 2.30. Oh. Okay, thank you, man. <laughs> Now, if you were Mike Wang, maybe you'd be a little bit offended by that. You can't just find Mike Wang at 80. Bro, are you crazy? So, um, this is what Mike Wang responded. Hey, I'm taller than 5'7". <laughs> I swear, it's very, it's a very rare situation in which no matter how 
disrespectful, ruthless, rude a community is to Mike Wang, he's never disrespectful, rude to nobody back. He always, he's never offended. That's crazy to me. Bro, I went to one EA event and now they don't f with me at all because I just came back and said honest things. This is not, I'm telling you that's not normal with most companies. Most companies, if you're not absolutely glorifying anything and everything they do, they stop f***ing with you. And literally last week, Mike Wang followed me. That's dope. That's really dope when you have developers in a community that can take criticism. Even when it's supposed to be just playfully a little bit offensive. So then EJ quote tweeted that tweet and said, I have much respect for Mike Wang. All my vids are for entertainment, you guys, but Mike, how y'all are you real? Huh? Mike Wang responded, 5'11 and I can dunk. <laughs> Zach Timmerman developer responded, false, but he can dunk a chicken tender like no other. And I seen it today, Chipotle Mayo. <laughs> Hey, for all the hate that 2K gets, I'm happy that a lot of the time it's not on the developers and it's on the publishers because it's mostly just microtransactions, servers. It's all stuff that they don't even have a hand in. But shout out to them though, that was a funny encounter. I figured you might wanna know a story like that. For our next story of the day. Uh, so Ronnie2K does his regular streams and it's not gonna be one of the logo rants. No, no, no guys, ladies and gentlemen, we're past that. Ronnie2K had JR Smith on his stream and there was a moment or J.R. Smith said something kind of wild. Kobe or LeBron? Kobe. Kobe over LeBron. Kobe, my second favorite player. I think Kobe and, uh, well, Penny's my second favorite player, but Kobe's my favorite. That's, that's a, that's a fact. That's a fact. Kobe is the GOAT. I don't want to hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Cash Nasty decided to tweet out the video with the caption, J.R. been drinking again. <laughs> Shout out to JR though, because I know he does play a lot of 2K, so it was kind of neat to see him on the stream. Not gonna lie, did I watch the stream? No. Did I watch the highlights of the stream? Yeah. Because I was curious what he said. For our next story of the day! Uh, 2K, we gotta talk, man, because it's not a good look for you guys, okay? What's good with the servers? There's been a whole lot of anger within the community because 2K will have park events, and then they won't, they don't give a fuck about servers. And so the servers don't work, you get kicked out of every game, and the community was frustrated. Davis decided to put out this tweet saying, 2K gotta fix the lag delay issues at the park. Ever since the fall update, it's been random lag spikes. Baluba. Badge Plug responded, since I shouted out my account the other day and started getting crowds, I've noticed a huge spike in delay. It's got to do with that. So I, from what I understand, Xbox people aren't affected by the fall update, but a lot of PS4 users are. And so what's happening now is PS4 users are literally buying PS4 Pros just so they don't have to deal with it. And even with the Pro, you still deal with lag spikes to the point where when you're walking around the park, you're skipping around. You're not even in the game yet. In one of my videos, I think I'm dropping it tomorrow, the lag was so brutally bad. The latency was so bad that I've never seen anything worse since 2K17 Park After Dark. That's how bad it is. And it seems to have all started right when the fall update came out. So maybe it's that witch going back and forth across the park. Maybe it's the leaves. I don't know what it is that's causing the performance issues, but a lot of people aren't happy about it. Agent Zero himself put out a tweet saying, please 2K, give us an option to decrease the graphics on 2K20. Whether it's just bad optimization or the console hardware is just old, it will make for way better performance. I'm literally lagging walking around the park like, come on. Duke Dennis was unhappy with the situation. He said, 2K has been doing park since 2K14, so they still haven't learned to get this type of correct? Joe Knows put out a tweet saying, it's been days of getting dashboarded for opening the phone. Still no patch to fix it. Any other game would have been rushing to fix this issue. Oh, on that point, Chalk, who's actually the number one dude on the leaderboards, I keep put out a tweet, I couldn't find it, but he basically said, if your game is crashing while you're on your phone, wait five seconds after you pull out your phone before going to the place to invite your friends, and then after you invite them, wait five seconds before closing your phone. I haven't tried it, but he's number one on the leaderboard, so if he says he has a fix, it's probably a fix, try it out. If you're getting dashboarded a lot because you're on your phone, then that might work for you. Even Orlando in Chicago was disappointed. He said, is it possible to win this 2v2 event? In an event where you have to win four games in a row to get the prize, how do you do that if after every game, your win does not count and you lag out? 
And sometimes before you even get into the game, your teammate lags out so you can't continue. It got so bad with the event the other day, that 2v2 rush event, that the event was supposed to go from, I believe, 12 to 6. It had a six hour window. Three hours into the event, NBA 2K just stopped the event. And they randomly did a, a 3v3 winner takes it event. And then they randomly stopped that event and did a 5v5 event. It's like, yo, y'all don't even have plans? Come on. This, how long y'all been doing this? You still messing it up? It's at this point, and I even made a video about this when I went to Virginia to see the 2K servers. All they have to do is make a call to Amazon. All it costs is money. The infrastructure exists. All it, that's the crazy part, is tomorrow. We would never have to deal with an issue like this if they just put up the money. That's, it, it'd be tomorrow. Anyway, for our next story of the day, there's been some more logo drama. And I've been trying to stay out of logo drama because I just about had enough of it, all right? I don't have a logo, it's whatever. But this time, it has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with a video that EJ put out on Twitter. Oh, he f deleted it. He was basically saying that another content creator, Easy Breezy, how does he have a logo? But other people don't have a logo. What's the criteria? We don't know the criteria. And uh, it came across as pretty disrespectful to a lot of people. Power responded because he's in the same group as Easy Breezy, DF. This is pretty sad and pathetic. You made a whole video hating on a kid to get a YouTube logo and his channel. By all means, advocate for others getting their logo, but this is pretty shameful. You're better than doing this for likes on a Twitter post. He responded, this video is a joke. I don't have anything against him personally. Power, if you show your face, I swear I'll delete the video right now. Y'all don't laugh. This is not meant to be funny. I'm serious. I'll delete this vid if you show your face. Which has nothing to do with why Power even addressed it to begin with, right? If you don't want to show his face, he's not showing his face. That has nothing to do with the video you put out. That's out of left field for no reason. Power responded saying, it wasn't funny, it was embarrassing, you should know better. You can't hide behind it's a joke every time you go out saying things act your age, EJ. You're getting confused on what hating is. I'm not saying he's making horrible videos. I'm saying it's way more YouTubers pulling higher views that deserve their logo. And I meant the tweet I posted was not to be funny, but the video is hilarious. Anyway, uh, that kind of went on for a while. Grinding even decided to get in on the mix. Imagine hating on someone's grind like that. Come on now, EJ. Dude said the same thing about me when I got my logo fast last year, and look where I'm at now. Never underestimate someone's potential to grow. And probably the most important point of this whole story is this following response. Somebody responded to Grinding saying, he isn't being serious, I'm pretty sure. His videos are just for entertainment. And Grinding responded, I know, and most of them are funny, but views can be depressing for YouTubers when they're putting in work and not getting results. And then that kind of hit me, because through the whole thing, I was just like, ah, he's just trying to be funny, bro, just let it go. But he's right, a lot of the times, bro. If you have a video and it flops, it kind of ruins your day. I'm not, just be honest with you. As a YouTuber, you try and learn to not have the performance of a video affect your entire life, but it kind of does. If a video does fantastic, bro, I'm gassed, I'm out, I'm celebrating, I gotta do something. But if a video just does a career low, and especially when it, like, in your channel's not performing, is cause, it's like, and then you got a person on Twitter making fun of you about it, I feel some type of way too. That's, I respect that. Somebody in DF gets attacked, the whole clan comes together to go ahead and support their man. That's dope. Anyway, for our next story of the day, there's been an ongoing feud uh, between Flight Reacts and Cash Nasty Gaming, guys. So what usually happens is Cash will pull up on Flight or Flight will pull up on Cash and they'll play a game. Usually Flight is streaming this stuff on Twitch, right? It was a pretty funny moment that Cash decided to react to on his channel and it goes a little like this. <laughs> oh, you're reaching every second, yo, yo. <laughs> and they're very entertaining to watch. Sometimes Flight wins it, sometimes Cash wins it. But Cash has been stirring up drama in the community because he'll have defensive performances like that, and then he'll go on Twitter saying things like this. So in response to this tweet from Mike Wang, if you're still getting ripped too often with Hall of Fame Unpluckable, it's possible you're over dribbling too close to the defender. You might want to try being more efficient with your moves and making sure you have enough space to pull them off. But Cash Nasty's response was, let them dribble gods cry. They ain't used to clamps. So he's taking shots at the whole dribbling community saying like, I can handle any one of y'all. 
He followed up saying, lol, y'all really gonna let a my team head come out in the park and run y'all off y'all streaks? On a lockdown LMFAO, my team is harder competition. There's no way park heads could run me off my team. Which isn't true, because all the guys winning the my team competitions are pro-am guys. <laughs> iPod responded to Cash saying, you gassing. Cash responded saying, stay out of this, not for casuals. <laughs> it's heating up, ladies and gentlemen. Nope, I'm here. I'm definitely more comp than you in this park talk. You got me mistaken for someone else. K, let's put up 2K easily. You ain't comp, bruh. Just being real with you, chief. Just say where and when. My controller's fully charged. <laughs> I'm gonna send you the invoice for my money right now. And he sent the invoice for 2,000 in cash nasty for whooping that ass at the park. <laughs> I gotta play Mario real comp. Then I'll take your lunch money next week, my third out of town. Cash trying to deflect with, I think that's Wonder Woman. Correct me if I'm wrong. So obviously everyone's like, Cash, you're not really comp, sorry to break it to you. So I would very much like to see these wages go down and there have been wages going down recently. People have been streaming them. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I might have to freshen up and actually get get on the stick, you know what I mean? I might have to put up some wages, you know, just see where I'm at, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's been kind of good. This is positive drama, what the hell? I'm so excited for our final story of the day, a short little quick one. A funny exchange on Twitter I figured I'd share. Duke decided to put out this tweet saying, Hey Ronnie, all jokes aside, y'all gotta get in the lab and fix 2K, like for real. And it's kind of funny because right when 2K20 launched, Ronnie was on his Instagram riding around in a Ferrari. And I was like, bro, he just spent our VC money on his Ferrari? <laughs> Flight Reacts, who's had a problem with Ronnie 2K because Ronnie 2K said you're not being verified because you disrespect the developers, he quote tweeted that saying, dude's cashing out on all of us right now. He'll think about 2K again probably sometime in December. Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, I really enjoyed this drama alert. It wasn't serious, just some good old fun, right? If you enjoyed, drop a like. There's a video on the screen with all the other drama alerts I've done. You might as well click it and watch. Hey, I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. I'm back with Upload most likely tomorrow as well, right? Okay? All right. Later.